and less snow. Nevertheless, we'll see some of this start to push in around uh, the early morning hours tomorrow. I think most of the accumulation is not going to get going until the second half of the day. It will start on the east side and then gradually spread through the area. So I think the biggest impact for commutes is going to be on the drive home tomorrow night. It's going to be fairly light to moderate snow, but it's just going to be with us for a while all the way through the overnight hours and then into early parts of Friday should be gone by the time the sun comes up on Friday and leaving us with about one to two inches of snow. There's the accumulation. You, again, you see the highest totals are going to be there on the east side, even higher on, over in the parts of Ontario. But I think we'll stay away uh, from some of those numbers as we get into tomorrow. The only thing we're concerned about is the track. Uh, we've got pretty good confidence in the timing and also the temperatures, although if there is a little bit of a move in that low, that could affect those totals, both higher or lower tomorrow. If you want to see the 10 day forecast or, of course, track that snow, you know you can do it on the local forecasters app, but we also have videos there that will take you into a deeper dive on all elements of the forecast. And again, that's in the local forecasters app. Just search WDIV in your favorite app store. So we're going to go from high temperatures on Friday uh, to 28 to a very nice warm up up to 40 degrees by the time we get into next week. Tuesday's high will be one of the warmest that we have seen in quite some time. Forecast lows tonight, boy, they're not going to be anywhere close to what we woke up to this morning. With the clouds around, these are going to be very close together. A lot of low and mid-teens out there, so double digits for just about everybody here for these low temperatures tomorrow morning. Maybe a 9 uh, in the north zone in a couple spots and possibly is down to 7 there in Sanilac County. Otherwise, high temperatures get to 26 in the afternoon. And then Katie, bar the door, we're going to 40. Uh, by the uh, middle of next week, Karen. So we'll get there. Pair of 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Always something to look forward to, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Still head first.